Today we'd like to present to you some of what we have learned in song and dance. Today's presentation will take you from early American explorers through colonial times, Revolutionary War, and the Civil War, and the women's suffrage movement starting in 1848 and ending in 1920. With the Some of what we've learned in song and dance. Today's presentation will take you from early American explorers through colonial times, the Revolutionary War, and the Civil War, and the women's suffrage movement starting in 1848 and ending in 1920. With the passage of the 19th Amendment to the Constitution, we hope you enjoy our show.
this land for King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella of Spain. Since, after all, they did pay my way over here, and I am the very first to land here. Now hold on just a minute there, Buster. I hate to break it to you, but my Scandinavian pals and I were here about 500 years before you flooded up to these shores. And I've heard tell that there was an Irish monk by the name Brendan who was here 500 years before us. So don't be thinking. Hold, you hold on up there, you Leaf. You should just take off your goofy little hat. I said, ahem, uh -huh. hello. Who is she? She is me, Clovis. Clovis? Well, Clovis is the name of my people, so you can call me Chloe if you'd like. Chloe? That's right. I hate to break it to you, fellas, but my people came here between 12 and 25,000 years ago by way of Beringia. Beringia? That's the land bridge that used to connect Siberia and Alaska. We came over that, down through Canada, and to this land on which you're standing. You mean you walked? Well, it took generations and thousands of years, but basically, yes, we walked. Oh dear, one I'm going to tell the king and queen of Spain. Yeah, and oof death, this is enough to make a grown Viking cry. Don't worry, guys. Just because uh, my ancestors were already living here doesn't mean that your feats of exploration weren't brave and amazing. Really? Do you really think so? Of course. This land would not at all be the same had courageous men like you not dared to follow your dreams and discover wonders unknown to your own people. Your daring adventures truly changed the world. Gee, thanks, Chloe. I feel better already. Hey, Chloe, do you think we can kind of keep this under our hats for a few hundred years? I'm still thinking I could get a national holiday out of this if I play it right. You know, school holiday, parades, that kind of stuff. No problem, Chris. The point is that people have been coming here for thousands of years for thousands of different reasons, and almost all of them were following a dream. Just like me. Just like me. And just like me. Explores like a magnet. Vasco Nunez de Balboa. John Cabot. Ferdinand Magellan. Coronado de Soto. It became haven, not just for seekers of fame and fortune, but for those who yearned for a place to live and worship as they pleased. My name is Martin Valsimiller. In 1507, I drew a map that, for the first time, included a brand new continent of what to name it. Why not name it after me? Amerigo Vespucci, the greatest explorer of all time. Hmm. Well, okay. Vespucci it is! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
1620 and 1691, the English established a new colony in North America, which they named New Plymouth. This new colony was founded by a group of Puritan separatists who came to be known as the Pilgrims. The citizens of Plymouth left England in search of a place where they could worship as they saw fit. As Governor of Plymouth, I, William Bradford, give thanks to the dream that brought us to this new land, the dream that led us to bounty and hope, the dream that is America! For the next 200 years, settlers came from all over the world, full of all sorts of American dreams. The American explorers at Juan, ba wait. Yeah. Juan Batiste, wait. Juan Batiste, Spanish explorers at Juan Batista de Anza. In my travels, saw very good sights and beautiful country. And I think, if it could be settled like Europe, there would not be anything more beautiful in all the world. <laughs> the English Puritans, like John Winthrop, leader of the newly established Massachusetts Bay Company. We must consider the... We must consider that we are a city upon a hill, the eyes of all people are upon us. The Quakers like William Penn. How shall we treat these American Indians, you ask? Let them have justice and you win them. But justice did not always prevail. Many of my people were pushed from their land. We had no voice in how things were run. We had no choice but to fight. We live in America, but yet we are citizens of European countries. In a letter to his daughter Mary, Reverend Joseph Fish wrote, The British seem to distress us to the last degree, if not destroy us, unless we submit to the yoke of slavery that they have prepared for us. John Appleton, a merchant from South Carolina, said, We were doing fine here in the colonies when the king and the parliament left us alone. Now I find taxes on everything I bring in the colonies to sell. It's bound to her business. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We have no choice but to fight! We have no choice but to fight! Oh, this 
me take? But as for me, give me liberty or give me death.
of the Union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty for ourselves and all prosperity, do ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. Tecumseh, the great Shawnee chief, asked, Sell the country? Why not sell the air, the clouds, and the great sea? But the people kept coming. Fulton's name, Robert Fulton. In 1807, I introduced the steamboat on the Hudson River. And the people kept coming faster. In 1811, work began at least in the world. In 1830, Peter Cooper built the very first locomotive for the Ohio and Baltimore Railroad. And faster. Texas was born. The Oregon Trail was opened up. Gold was discovered in California. Freedom, Brigham led with a group of settlers, which is now called Salt Lake City. This is it. We will make this desert blossom as the rose. And the people kept coming and coming and coming. The American dream included the dreams of women like me, Susan B. Anthony. And me, Sojourn of Truth. Women are weak! The man over there says women need to be helped into carriages and lifted over ditches and puddles, and that's the best place everywhere. No one helps me into carriages and over puddles. And ain't I a woman? Look at my arm. I have plowed, planted, and gathered into barns, and no man could beat me. And ain't I a woman? You said it, sister. <laughs> and the people kept coming and coming and coming and coming and coming. <laughs> Yeah. 
will long remember what we say here, but the world will never forget what they did here. It is for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us, that those who have fought here have thus so far only nobly advanced. It is for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us, that from these honored dead we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain, that this government of the people so not per for this people, government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. Proclamation on January 1st, 1863, Abraham Lincoln ended slavery in America once and for all. As painful as the Civil War was, the Union survived. The American dream lived on. Since then, more and more people have followed that dream to our beautiful shores. Many immigrants came to America from Europe to escape poverty and starvation. Some families came because there were not enough jobs in their country. In, in the, the mid-19th mid century, many came from Ireland to escape the famine caused by the blight on the potato crop. They had a dream of economic opportunity and security in America. Many families came to escape war or political unrest. Some came to escape oppressive governments and live in freedom. Some came for better educational opportunities. But people did not just come to escape. They came to build a better life for themselves and for their families. They brought with them their skills, their knowledge, and their passion to make their new home the best that it could be. People came from all around the world for jobs, for freedom, and a better life in America. this golden door.
better audience. Give yourselves a hand.